Welcome to our lecture online. Our next example deals with the area of a rectangle and most of us realize that the area of a rectangle is equal to the product of the length times the width. Now let's say we have a rectangle that has an area of 24 square centimeters. What will that rectangle look like? And then you realize, whoa, there's a lot of different ways in which we can draw that rectangle. We can have a length of 24 centimeters and a width of 1 centimeter or a length of 12 centimeters and a width of 2 8 and 3, 6 and 4, 4 and 6, and you can see there's a lot of different ways in which we can draw a triangle. Each of them has an area of 24 square centimeters. So now they're asking us to find an equation that describes that variation, the relation between the length and the width. Well, the one thing that's constant, remember the variable, not the variable, but the constant k, well, it's the area, it's 24, so what we can say here is that k is equal to 24. Now, do we have a direct or an inverse variation? Well, if it's a direct variation, then as one gets bigger, the other one gets bigger as well. So, as the width gets bigger, we'd expect the length gets bigger, but that's not what's happening. As the width gets bigger, the length gets smaller, which means there must be an inverse relationship between the two. And now that we have k, and there's an inverse relationship, that means that we can write that L is equal to k over w. Because now we realize an inverse relationship, as one gets bigger, the other one gets smaller, we have to write it like this. We could also, of course, write it as width is equal to k divided by L. Either one will work. We know what the value for k is, so we can plug that in there. So we have L is equal to 24 divided by W, and now we plug in any value for W, and we'll get the appropriate value for L. Let's try it. Let's try W equals to 3 and see what happens. So here we can say L, when W is equal to 3 centimeters, is equal to 24 centimeters squared, of course, because we do have to write in the unit centimeters squared, divided by the width, and we picked a width equal to 3 centimeters, so 3 centimeters, and centimeters squared by centimeters just gives us centimeters, so L, when the width is equal to 3 centimeters, is equal to 24 divided by 3, which is 8 centimeters. And there we go. That is how we find the equation, and that's how the equation can then be used. So again, realize that the variation principle appears everywhere in mathematics and science, it's a very handy tool to realize and understand, and that is how it's done. If you do the W part... You want me to do the W part? You can put 8 centimeters for W and prove that you're right. Okay, well, let's try that. Let's try <laughs> to plug in the value. So what we're going to do here is write W when L equals 8 centimeters. So W when L equals 8 centimeters is equal to K, which is 24 centimeters squared divided by L being 8 centimeters, and of course then W when L equals 8 centimeters is equal to 24 divided by 8, which is 3 centimeters. And sure enough, as you indicated, it works both ways. That is how it's done. <laughs>